The term, rookie mistakes, exists for a reason. No matter what sport you play, every beginner is bound to make some mistakes. Cycling can be an incredible sport and hobby, but it can also be overwhelming when just starting. Getting experience takes time, but with some preparation, you can avoid some of the most common mistakes cyclists make early on. In today's video, I'll share the 10 things I wish I had known before I started cycling. So, let's get started. Keeping your body properly fueled and hydrated while cycling is crucial since it consumes much energy. Therefore, it is best to always leave the house with two full water bottles and two snacks. Whether you're taking a short trip or a long one, it's best to be prepared. It isn't a good thing if you don't think ahead, or worse, if you get to the midpoint of your journey without the fuel you need to make it home. You will never truly understand how to change a tire until you try it yourself. Bicycle shops offer free clinics where you can learn how to change a tire and make basic bike repairs. You may already have a bike pump and a fresh tube in your emergency repair kit, but if you find yourself stranded without a cell signal and access to a bike shop, you'll need to know how to use them. You can usually get a bike fitting completely free when you purchase your bike from a bike shop. If you bought your bike secondhand or from a dealer that doesn't offer this service, some shops would fit your bike for about $100 to $350. Getting your bike custom fitted may seem like a frivolous expense, but you will avoid the aches and pains of riding an ill-fitting bike and more severe injuries. As a result of getting a proper bike fit, you'll get the maximum amount of power from your bike and be aerodynamically efficient. Make sure you do an essential bike fit before you get on the bike. You'll be riding against the wind when you return from a ride pedaling with the wind. It is far better to head out into the wind. It takes more effort initially, but you are better equipped to handle it when fresh and fueled. After a long run, despite being tired and sweaty, the wind will gently push you home when you are tired and sweaty. Refueling after a ride is just as important as snacking and drinking water during a ride. Following a ride, you should replenish your glycogen stored in the first half hour. At that point, your body is working hard to recover. Refueling afterward makes you less likely to feel worn out after an extended ride. Spending time on the bike is essential, but it is equally important to take time off. After an intense workout, your body needs time to recover. You'll surely get injured if you don't give your body time to recuperate. Be sure to take days off between rides, and remember to stretch and cool down after each ride. Most cyclists experience chafing at some point in their cycling journey. In the case of chafing, you may need to give yourself time to heal before you can get back on your bike. However, you can avoid chafing or at least minimize it. To prevent chafing, wear proper, well-fitting bike shorts. So, check your seat's fit and invest in a preventative lotion. Another thing that every biker wish is cycling gloves. Gloves serve a real purpose to every cyclist. They allow you to grip better and protect your hands from calluses and blisters. Furthermore, they prevent moisture from accumulating in the summer and provide warmth in the winter. It's a great way to meet new people and spend time with others who share your passion for riding. However, riders follow specific rules during a group ride, which are essential to ensure that everybody stays safe. Even though there are many standard rules across riding groups, each group has its nuanced guidelines or unique calls, so it's a good idea to check the website before joining a group. If this isn't possible, try hanging near the back until you understand how things work in the group. The last thing is crucial for every cyclist, and that's when you find your bicycle nowhere after taking a ride for miles or to some other places. There's nothing worse than coming back from a bathroom break and finding an empty spot where your bike should be. Always lock up your bike, even if you're just away from it for a couple of minutes. Ensure it is secured to something solid, and thread the lock through the frame and the wheel. By knowing what to expect ahead of time, you can minimize the risk of being surprised by events. If you liked this video, hit the bell button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.